Hey, welcome back, everybody. This is another TTM video. And we, as we like to say, we get autographs TTM through the mail. We've got, uh, I think, five returns today. So let's just get right into it. First one is from Jacksonville, Florida. It's a thick one. It is Jeff Lagerman. All right, 52-year-old former defensive end. Seems like he just got done playing. Ten seasons from 89 to 98. For as you see here, the Jets. Here's his college uniform on the 89 Pro Set. He went to the University of Virginia. Got two 89 Pro Sets. Signed a beautiful blue Sharpie. Uh, Jets and Jaguars. 47 lifetime sacks, made second team all pro in 1991. Quick return, I got that back in 11 days from former player and announcer, Jeff Lagerman. Next one is from North Texas. We get a lot of returns from North Texas. Another thick one, and it's a bunch of cards. Gary Reasons, former linebacker, nine seasons. 84 to 92, I think all for the New York Giants. May have played one season with some other team there at the very tail end of his career. To Michael, Jer Gary Reasons, New York Giants. He was on those great Super Bowl defenses, played linebacker there. And I hope I get the card back that I really wanted signed. And it is. Oh, I love that card. Just a great photograph. In front of uh, pro set, I think 1990. Yeah, 90 pro set. Put out a couple cards with great photography, uh, award-winning photography from that season. And that's one of them, Bobby Humphrey running with a ball. His mouthpiece is right there, if you can see that. Reasons just stacked him up on a fourth and short play. And I think the, I think, uh, the Giants ended up going to the Super Bowl. That kind of propelled them on and a little win streak and uh, ended up winning the Super Bowl that year. In fact, he won two of them with the Giants, 21 and 25. And then he became a head coach. He was a head coach for a team in the Arena League. I know that for Oklahoma City. Another quick one. Got that back in 10 days. No fee for former linebacker Gary Reasons. Next is from Fort Myers, Florida. I don't know who it is. And it's Jack Aroot. Why is it coming from Florida? I do not know. Maybe he lives there in the wintertime. I wouldn't blame him at all for that. But uh, he lives in Massachusetts. That's where I sent this not too long ago. 68-year-old uh, Jack Aroot. Signed him with a little smiley face. Ballpoint pen with a smiley face. Doot, doot. All right. Jack Aroot. Former broadcaster. I think he's uh, NFL. College football. NASCAR, of course, as seen here in these Max 91 cards. Who can forget Brent Musburger during college football games and sending it down to our old pal, Jack Aroot. Um, sent it to his, like I said, I sent it to his home in Massachusetts. Got a return from Fort Myers, but it's still quick. If you consider the place to place, I got that back in 12 days. So really quick once you factor in the uh, mail south and then back to me. Next one. We're moving right along here. Quick. This is coming from Phoenix, Arizona, all the way to Tacoma, Philadelphia, Atlanta, L.A. And speaking of L.A., former L.A. Dodger, Brett Butler. I think I sent him three. 62 years old now, former center fielder. 17 seasons, 81 to 97. Several teams, including here the Dodgers and the Indians. Also played for the Braves and the Giants. Really good player, really good center fielder in the 80s. Probably one of the best center fielders in the league if you factor in the entire decade, that's for sure. Great leadoff man. Used to be able to get on base, walked a lot, stole a lot of bases. I think he had almost close to 2,400 hits in his career. 550 stolen bases. Really good player. Really good player. I don't know how many all-star teams he made, but he was a solid player year after year. Uh, 
for several teams offensively. And he played a great defensive in center field. Didn't have the greatest arm in the world, but he could sure go get him. And that's been a while. Let's see. A fun fact that about Brett Butler, when he went to the Indians, he led off for the Indians against the Red Sox, and he became the first batter to ever face a pitcher in the major leagues by the name of Roger Clemens. So that's a fun fact to know about Brett Butler. That's uh, 156 days. What took you so long, Brett? Maybe he was coaching somewhere. I think he's still coaching somewhere. 8 by 10 postmark from Santa Clarita, California. Oh, I just sent this. Let's get the easel. I just sent this recently. I'm sure of it. This is uh, Ed Asner, because I just got this um, custom card. And I got this photograph. Yeah, I got this. This is just eight days ago, folks. Really quick return here for 90-year-old Ed Asner. Great actor. Still active in, uh, in Hollywood. Was the voice of the lead on the Disney Pixar movie Up. Was Santa Claus on the movie Elf. And, of course, was Lou Grant on the Mary Tyler Moore Show. Uh, won about seven Emmys. Like I said, he's still active. He's 90 years old now. Super quick. I got that back in eight days. No fee. He usually writes a note on his returns. This one says, best wishes, Michael. That one says, the best of life, Ed Asner. Really cool returns today, guys. I appreciate you watching. Hit a thumbs up if you like what you see. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscription bell. You'll be notified of all my future videos. And uh, we'll see you soon. And thanks for watching, everybody.